What's going on everybody and I hope you're enjoying your hump day Wednesday afternoon so far. This is NYG Jeff 85 here and I'm going to talk about a player that has been linked to the Brooklyn Nets in terms of the NBA draft. The Brooklyn Nets are going to have back-to-back picks heading into this upcoming 2023 NBA draft where they'll be picking at picks number 21 and pick number 22. 21 they got via Phoenix in the Kevin Durant trade that brought over Michael Bridges and Cam Johnson. And one of the players that has been linked to the Brooklyn Nets, according to Cody Taylor of the Rookie Wire, has been former, soon-to-be drafted player out of the University of Michigan, Michigan Wolverines guard, Kobe Bufkin. <clears throat> he has been linked to the Brooklyn Nets, and it could be a projected draft pick for the Brooklyn Nets. And that right now, Yahoo Sports is projecting the sophomore guard out of Michigan to be selected by the Brooklyn Nets with the 21st pick in the NBA draft. And the Nets, like I mentioned, they have two picks that they can make in this draft. Obviously, they're looking for some more size in the front court, looking for some more playmaking ability, and a kid that can drive to the basket, create his own shot, draw fouls, and get to the foul line, as well as hit occasionally the three-point shot. After watching some of the film on this kid, Bufkin, he's a player at 6'4", and he's 195 pounds. He's not afraid to drive to the basket and create his own shot. Sort of has a little bit more of a Spencer Dinwiddie type game to the Brooklyn Nets. Dinwiddie obviously being one of the best players on the Nets team currently. That is not afraid to drive to the basket and create his own shot and draw fouls. <clears throat> the 6'4", 195 pound sophomore out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, is right now av- averaged this past season for the Michigan Wolverines 14 points per game with about five rebounds and three assists per game. And he shot at least 48% from the field and 35, 36% from the three-point line during his sophomore season with the Michigan Wolverines. And for his efforts, he was named the 2022-2023 All-Big Ten third as he was the 17th player in the conference in points per contest and ninth in, ninth in steals. He averaged about a 1.3 assists per game overall. <clears throat> and the Nets... They can use a player that's going to be able to drive to the basket and create their own shots. And right now, the Nets are a little bit in a weird position, as it says more on Yahoo Sports right here. With the Nets in such a weird spot of sorts when it comes to deciding which direction they should head in, if they decide to embrace a full rebuild, Buffkin would be a great place to start. While Brooklyn has Michael Bridges and Nick Claxton for his future, lead guard Spencer Dinwiddie has one more year left on his contract at a little over $20 million before he's an unrestricted free agent in the summer of 2024. And this is what Taylor had to say from Roto Sports has to say about Bufkin. Bufkin wasn't on the national radar to begin the season, but climbed draft boards with his ability to run through the offense and score at a high level. The lefty has a nice shooting stroke and converted... 36% of his three-point, about his four attempts per game. He figures to provide some depth in the backcourt for teams drafting in this range, something the Nets could use. Obviously, right now, the Brooklyn Nets could use any type of depth they can get in that backcourt because right now, you have the players on the roster. Joe Harris has one year left in his deal, and he's coming off a disastrous 2022-2023 season in which he pretty much no-showed in the NBA playoffs and really his percentages all started to dip a little bit after he suffered two ankle injuries and ankle surgery during the offseason last year. Seth Curry is an unrestricted free agent going into this offseason and with questions on the roster about Cam Johnson with him being a restricted free agent and the possibility of both Royce O'Neal and Dorian Finney-Smith potentially being on the trade block. Plus, you got Patty Mills, who is up there in age at 34 years old and really was more of a mentor slash role player on the team, didn't play much. And Edmund Sumner really not contributing down the stretch. And Cam Thomas, for the most part, sitting on the bench. <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets can use any type of upgrade in the backcourt, and that's exactly what Kobe Bufkin can provide this team going into the 2023 NBA Draft, and if the Nets end up selecting him during the 2023 NBA Draft, he could be a guy that could provide some solid depth to this Brooklyn Nets roster that is in serious need of some infusion of youth and playmaking ability on the bench because of the fact that this Brooklyn Nets team really struggled in terms of their bench points 
overall, at the end of the season, especially in the playoffs, the Nets had to rely heavily on the same players in their rotation, while nobody on the bench was really able to provide any type of spark offensively consistently, whether it was offensively or defensively. And with Buffkin now emerging as one of the young, better guards heading into this NBA draft, he could be a guy the Nets could definitely target, whether it's draft pick number 1, 21, or pick number 22, when the Nets go back-to-back. So that's something to definitely monitor as we go into this NBA draft going forward. (laughs) We'll have to wait and see because the Nets proved this past playoff. You need to have strong depth in the front court going forward. And right now the Nets, like I mentioned, they struggled mightily trying to get any contributions off of their bench this past season. They need to get themselves some more scoring punch and guys that can drive to the basket with a playmaking ability and create their own shot. How many players on the Brooklyn Nets team were able to create their own shot on this basketball team currently? Two, three maybe? Cam Thomas was able to do it, but his game is so raw in other areas, he wasn't able to really stay on the court as much because as good as he is offensively, the rest of his game was very incomplete or very, very lackluster. You had Spencer Dinwiddie, who, while he could probably, while he's probably the best shot creator on the team right now in terms of driving to the basket and drawing fouls and being able to create his own shot on the floor, he also turns the ball way over way too much, and he's going into the last year of his of his um contract. And then also you have the fact that you have Cam, uh, you have guys like Edmund Sumner, Seth Curry. Joe Harris, these guys are more jump shooters, and they're not really guys that can go off the dribble and be able to drive to the basket and draw fouls on a consistent basis. Their play is just way too inconsistent, and it's very hard to rely on these guys going into this upcoming season. So you need to inject some type of youth, and you need to inject some type of athleticism on this Brooklyn Nets roster in terms of the bench. That's one of the lackluster things this team needs to do this offseason is inject some more athletic ability on this bench, and if a player like Kobe Buffkin manages to drop around the 21-22 range. The Nets have got to think about selecting this kid out of Michigan and adding him to your bench to being able to bring him in off the bench and allow him to just go out there and get some good scoring, you know, helping contribute off the bench in terms of getting some points per game and helping give the starters a little bit more rest. So I just want to give you guys that little video on a a young player that the Brooklyn Nets right now could be projected to select coming up in this NBA draft coming up later in June. So hit that like button if you haven't already and give a sub to NYGJFET85 for more news updates and chatter surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. Turn on the bell for notifications. The next video is short dropping on the channel surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And you guys let me know in the comment section if you've seen Michigan guard Kobe Bufkin and if you believe he'd be a good fit for the Brooklyn Nets going into the 2023-2024 NBA season. He could be a guy that could come off the bench and provide the Nets some solid scoring and offense for the 2023-2024 NBA season. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your hump day Wednesday. Take it easy and let's go Brooklyn Nets as always. It's a Nets world and we are all just living in it.